Y'all check this Trustfire E3R out. I've been carrying this for a few days. It's not a bad little light. I was sent this light to check it out and show it to y'all. It's a side button only light. Comes with a clip. Clip was already installed on it. And it has a battery included with it as well. Let's go ahead and get that battery out and I'll show that to you. Here's the battery that comes with it. It's a Trustfire 18650, 3000 milliamp hours, has protection built in, and even has some scratch-off stuff there, I guess proving that it's not a knockoff labeled there on the end. Hasn't been a bad battery, been doing pretty good. In order to charge that battery, you can charge it in this light it includes they included a cable and I want to show y'all how flat that port cover is look at that absolutely flush so that means that it's not getting grabbed on anything and opening up I also like that that port cover is attached to this ring notice how that rubber ring goes all the way around and that's what that's attached to. They did a good job with that. I feel like that's gonna last a little bit longer than some port covers that are out there on the market. The button is not flush, it's raised up a little bit, but it's okay because it's kind of a hard press and it takes a lot for you to turn this light on. I haven't had any accidental activations in the pocket. When you first turn it on, see it's on right now, there's a little light right there in that button and it will let you know the battery level, green, orange, then red, and you cannot see it in the daytime. I'll have to show you that at night tonight. It's impossible to see in the daylight. But green means go, orange is low, red means to recharge. They went with the standard colors on that, so that was a good job. It's a claimed 1000 lumen. It does start getting pretty warm pretty quick. The hot warning needs to be there. There's not much heat dispersion technology right here. That's something to consider. And um, yeah, it's already starting to get a little bit warm, pretty warm at the end there. Good, good a little, good bit of light. We'll show you that tonight, and I'll compare it to some other stuff like I always do. There's low power, and then what I really like is it has a very low lumen for what they call a moonlight mode and then off it's just got those three settings not a lot of crazy features if you hold down from off see how it just flashed right there now it's locked out when it's locked out if you try to turn it on it does give you a, a double flash warning which i really appreciate that way you know that your light is locked out at least it tells you something that way you're not trying to figure out what's going on and then from on even at any level while the light is on you hold down and turn it on into strobe there's that pretty simple this would be a good light as a gift in my opinion because you are able to charge that battery that you just saw you could literally hand this and everything that comes with it to somebody who doesn't have a charger for these 18650 batteries and they would be good to go they can charge the battery they got the cable and very simple operation you know just thumbing through and getting to the level that they want very simple light for somebody that doesn't know much about flashlights and as a gift in my opinion those two customers are going to really benefit from this Trustfire e3r let's get it out tonight see what's up these are the exact lights and order that I'll shoot off tonight. There's the Trustfire E3R. This is the Folomove EDC C4, the Zebra Light SC600F, and the Sofern SP32A version 2. So when I'm talking about them, you'll know what's up. 
here they all are lined up in their lowest setting like I like to do I like to show you all the moonlight mode or lowest setting and out of these four the zebra light is going to win in matter of lowest lumen there's the zebra light there and then follow mauve and E3R both being about the same the zebra light having the absolute lowest amount of lumen pretty nice beam dispersion as well with that lens that you see there like a frosted lens pretty nice and now on its highest setting here's the E3R in real life and even on camera I can see in the middle of that beam right in the middle there is like a little yellow spot kind of like a hollow spot in this beam something for you to note something for you to know here's the fellow mauve it's gonna have a pretty nice little beam good hot spot not seeing any kind of halo-ish activity I'm appreciating that crazy amounts of flooding from the zebra light as I suspected and it is always been a nice little pocket flutter in my opinion very nice for lighting up an entire yard and then the Sofern nice beam nice little halo around it there not too bad to where it's bothering me or anything like that though and I'm just appreciating kind of like where I'm pointing right there just a good solid beam that's the Sofern now for distance I'm just gonna do this E3R and the zebra light you see that concrete device out there in this retention pond that's a distance of 80 feet away from where I'm standing right now and that's casting a pretty nice distance beam in my opinion you can still see that empty spot or just a little bit of a darker spot in the middle of that beam bear with me y'all I'm not really big on these technical terms of these lights and things like that I'm just trying to explain what I'm seeing with the naked eye just seeing an area in the middle of the beam that is not as bright as the rest but then I mean shooting it up at the sky it's shooting out a pretty good beam I'm just noticing that in the middle is not as hot as other beams that I prefer I guess I'm just seeing something with the naked eye that I'm not crazy about just wanting to kind of give y'all a heads up and let you know what's up still putting out a really good amount of light and I'm liking it and appreciating it for that just uh, something to consider you know and then we'll extend out all the way to the end at that chain link where I'm putting it to now that is a full 100 feet away and I'm holding the very end of the light as you see it's not not hot not unbearable it's warm to be expected I'll tell you what my zebra light gets a whole lot hotter than this E3R and we're gonna go ahead and bring that zebra light up and show you what I'm talking about let's go ahead and power that E3R down and there's the zebra light double check make sure yeah we're on turbo and just like a crazy amount of flood like I was saying a second ago you're lighting up the entire yard and trying to get light out there to that concrete at 80 feet you're getting some light out there but you're also putting tons of light out to the side because it's just more of a flood both have their practicality and their use 
and trying to get light out there to the chain link at the very end at the 100 feet mark out there way out there you're getting some light there but it's not as much light it's a little bit harder to see out that far with the naked eye and as I suspected getting quite a bit warmer now the zebra light is rated at 1800 lumen whereas the E3R is 1000 so that's going to be another di big difference of why it gets hotter versus the other hope this helps and I hope this lets y'all know what's up the E3R in my opinion is a $40 light if you could pick up one of these for about 40 bucks you're going to be getting something that is well worth it and that's again just my opinion others may be willing to pay more in my world and in my lineup of lights I'd gladly pay $40 for this E3R right here for what you're getting and what's included with it and for that right there what you're looking at the amount of light that you are putting out there I appreciate it just um, could use a little bit of work on its beam but again that is my opinion and y'all check this out and let me know what you think about it thank you all so much for watching